It is Thursday, August 6th, and this is CONCACAF Video Signals. Today on Video Signals, last night, two more teams advanced to the Champions League group stage. We'll bring you the highlights and let you know what's on tap for tonight. Join me on a trip around the Confederation, and then we'll complete the program with the one and only CONCACAF Quiz. We start with last night's opening round second leg Champions League action at Giant Stadium, where Caribbean champions W Connection of Trinidad advanced to the group stage 4-3 on aggregate after posting an impressive 2-1 win over the New York Red Bulls. Both teams played without the services of their injured leading scorers. Juan Pablo Angel for the Red Bulls and Jonathan Frias for W Connection. As the home side went ahead in the 18th minute, when John Wolniak took a pass from Venezuelan international Jorge Rojas and slipped a left-footed shot past Marvin Phillip from 14 yards. The outstanding Andre Toussaint scored the equalizer in the 40th minute, running at Seth Stamler on the left before putting a low shot inside of the far post to level the game at 1-1. In the 45th minute, Toussaint was gifted a goal, stealing Kevin Goldthwaite's attempted pass to Jeremy Hall at the top of the 18-yard box. Toussaint took a touch and beat Red Bulls goalkeeper Danny Sapero inside the near post to give W Connection a 2-1 lead and ultimately the series. W Connection heads to Group D where it will face Comunicaciones of Guatemala, Mexico's Pumas and the winner of Real España and Liberia Mía. In Mexico City, host Cruz Azul easily returned to the group stage, settling for a 0-0 tie with Everdiano, advancing thanks to its 6-2 first leg win last week. Last year's Champions League runner-up to Atlante, Cruz Azul had numerous chances as it did in Costa Rica, but were thwarted by shots high, wide, and some desperate defending. Everdiano also created chances but its commitment forward to overturn a four-goal deficit left it vulnerable to counterattacks. Cruz Azul is now in Group C with USA champions Columbus Crew, the Puerto Rico Islanders, and Saprissa of Costa Rica. Second leg play concludes today when Trinidad San Juan Giblota hosts San Francisco FC of Panama, Liberia Mia of Costa Rica faces Real España in San Pedro Sula, and Arabe Unido welcomes Honduras' Olympia to La Chorrera, Panama. Video signals will have the highlights in tomorrow's edition. Now, let's see what's happening around the Confederation. The UNCAF Under-16 tournament continued yesterday with two games in Costa Rica. Panama upended El Salvador, which has conceded seven goals in two games. While Costa Rica outraced Guatemala 4-0, Raymond Salas scored his third goal of the competition. And that completes our very brief trip around CONCACAF. Now it is time for today's CONCACAF quiz. Yesterday, we asked if you can name the national team for which W Connection forward Jonathan Frias plays. Our thanks to all who responded. The correct answer is the Dominican Republic. Now for today's question. Which former U.S. international appeared in a World Cup Finals, scored in a Gold Cup, and once played for Cruz Azul? If you think you know the answer, please send an email to videosignals at cockacalf.org by 12 p.m. New York time tomorrow. All those answering correctly will have their names placed into a weekly contest where the winner will receive a CONCACAF prize. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for joining us at Video Signals, your source for CONCACAF News.